Lately, I've been watching a lot of this guy's video called Benny Production, and he is a beast when it comes to Photoshop photo manipulation. Well, I've been using Photoshop almost every day for the past six years or so, but I never really tried anything like that. I mostly use it to make YouTube thumbnails or some banners to Facebook or Instagram, as long as some artwork for my video games. So in today's video, I decided to give it a try and make an actual artwork out of Photoshop. Spoiler. Uh, it doesn't work very well. <laughs> so you're gonna see here in the background a time lapse of me doing it and during this time I'm gonna talk a little bit about the process and what went wrong and what went right. Well, uh, the first step was uh, gathering the images that I wanted to manipulate and then pasting them in Photoshop and cutting the content of the image. Oh, I used the pen tool. Uh, I found it a little bit easy. Uh, on my side, many people say that it's very boring. It is very boring. But I do have a pen table and a drawing table, I'm sorry. And it makes my life a little bit easier when it comes to cutting this stuff. At least I think so. I'm pretty comfortable doing this part, so I don't see a problem here. The problem started in the next step. Well, this guy, Benny Production, he does something very interesting. When, when he uses an image, like a, a part of an image in his manipulation, he first makes the color fit together uh, between the images, because of course, if you have an image that is like the sunset, and then the other image is like in the middle of the day, the lightning conditions are gonna be completely different. So the color of the light, the color of the sun, the color of the environment around you, are gonna be completely different, so you need to change that. And this is my first problem. I had absolutely no idea how to change it properly. Uh, in my mind, I was like, mm, it's just use like a hue and saturation and then cha change the hue, the hue of the image. But it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, the hue is gonna change everything in the image, including the face color and so on. So in the end, I, I almost scrapped the idea of changing and making the colors fit. I was like, I'm mm, gonna leave it like that and well, it wasn't working at all. So I think I need to study a little bit more to, on how to do that. I have absolutely no idea. And then the other stuff that Benny does, and I found it amazing, is that he uses like the smart filters with a mask to mask out and mask in the parts of the of the image that he wants to apply the, that filter. And why he does that? Well, to do relightening. Uh, so if a light source is on this side and then he wants to make the light source uh, on this side, he does that. He makes a smart filter and then make the entire thing way brighter and then he masks out the filter and just paint on top of the mask just this side of the character so or, or anything that he's using. So the light is amazing doing that. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Fresno effect. I, I don't know if it's called Fresno in Photoshop, but at least in video games it's called Fresno. That uh, when you have a light source behind you, you do have like that contour uh, around you. And that's amazing. I really like that and I really try to use that in my thumbnails as well. But the question is like until today, I've been using it like a layer mask. I don't know what it's called and then painting a white color on top of it and setting the blend mode to screen that's what I'm doing but he does that with smart smart filters and I found it amazing and way more realistic in his videos it doesn't work very well with me well I I'm gonna be honest this is the part that worked best in my opinion because well it's super cool to do this kind of stuff but since my colors doesn't match the entire editing was like very bad <laughs> So this is 
the first time I'm doing this, I really, really need to learn stuff. So if you have like any tips or anything like that, please put, the, put it in the comments below because I really will appreciate some feedbacks. Of course, it's bad, I know that. <laughs> and I don't know how to make the colors match. I really need to understand that. But since I'm a very kinesthetic learner, uh, I really try to like, First, I open this, the software and then I try to use it and then I try it again and again and again instead of like just opening a tutorial like every other normal people would do and watching the tutorial uh, start to finish. I really prefer to try my things first and then figure out what it, what works and what doesn't. That's fun for me and since one of the objectives of, of this kind of stuff is have fun, uh, I think it's pretty okay. So I'm happy kind of with the results, uh, no, I'm a little bit disappointed. Yeah, it was fun because when I realized it, I was like putting a lot of time and effort on this uh, manipulation. But as soon as I that I realized it, that I was not able to make the colors match, I got it a little bit frustrated. And then I tried to finish the, the artwork as soon as possible because I all I wanted is to like, oh my god, I'm full of that, I'm tired, I want to go out, <laughs> and. So I hushed a little bit in the end, not doing everything that I wanted to do, not adding mist, not adding like any other special effect, glowing and so on. I think if I like do that in the next one, it will be a little bit g cooler. But since I really need to learn how to match the colors, uh, I decided to finish this artwork. <laughs> So this is the finished artwork, and again, it, it's not very good, it's, it, yeah, yes. But I hope you enjoyed this, and leave in the comments what you think, if you want to see more Photoshop, more me trying and not succeeding, or maybe succeeding on Photoshop, leave in the comments, because I'm curious to see what you guys think about it. So that's it for this video, make sure you like and subscribe, it's very important, let's try to reach 10,000 subscribes in the end of this year, it will be amazing. And by the way, thank you for all, for all of you, we are almost reaching 4 thousand subscribers here subscribers here and that's amazing thanks for watching and i see you in the next video when the music goes